we came to this uh, rest stop and are getting water here into this tank. This is the 55 gallon tank I talked about in our boondocking video, our first time boondocking video. And this is the 55 gallon water tank that Chubbs brought with us. And it allows us to necessarily not have the RV with us when we need to get water. Because the RV tank is 75 gallons. So we're gonna take this back to the RV and fill up the water tank there. So then we'll be good on water. Honestly, I think that the best thing that ever happened to us, I said it before, is that we did not have a water hookup at our stationary site when we first moved in here for an entire month. We saw it as an inconvenience at the time, but it's paid off in dividends for us because we're so used to conserving water. All right, I'm gonna get back in the truck. Kids are just playing. I got paid today, so I had to make my payday posts on social media. A lot of people ask like, so like, what do you do? Like, how do you do it? And honestly, what I do is I just literally post on social media. So when we're going about our day, I got an alert on my email that we got paid. I literally just took a clip shot of the email and put it on a picture and said, I got paid today while traveling down the road. Like, sometimes when I think about it, it sounds so silly because it seems so easy and simple. Like I can't I just imagine my mind why someone wouldn't want to do what I do, especially people that post on social media. Like if you already post on social media, like I'm really confused why you wouldn't want to make money by sharing. Because you already share for free. I don't know. The world will never know. I can't figure every single person out in the world. I can only figure myself out and be thankful that I chose to take advantage of this amazing opportunity using social media and my cell phone to make money. So super excited about that. And I'm gonna let you guys off here. I'm dead rambling. Hi guys, my name is Deanna and we are the Crystals. Last year we sold 90% of our stuff in pursuit of living big life with less. In January 2020, we launched full time in our RV to travel the Southwest United States. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button and turn your notifications on to keep up with our adventures while full time RVing. I need a paper towel. You need a paper towel? Here you go. Hi guys, welcome back to the vlog. It is Saturday afternoon. They're out here painting rocks. These are rocks that we picked up when we were at Airport Park in Waco. <laughs> well, I want to say cheese and take a picture, but. Um, you want to have them say cheese? Yeah, you can turn that off. No, I'm talking to it. I got good pictures on here. Okay, that's fine. You can get him say cheese. It's not a big deal. So yeah, so I haven't been vlogging the past few days. I've just been chilling. That's basically what I've been doing. Well, yesterday I did laundry all day. I went to town and it was like 25, 35 minutes away from here. I went to Super Target and then I went and did the laundry. I That's the first time I've been to a Super Target and it was absolutely ginormous. I loved it. Could have been in there so much longer than I was, but I was ready to get the laundry done and I knew it was going to take me a while. So yesterday was all day basically spent at Target and then at the laundromat. And then today just we've been chilling and we went on a little drive and we got some pizza. We went and saw Quartzsite where like a whole bunch of RV years are. So anyways, that's what we did today. Now this is the start of the vlog. I don't know what we're going to get into on this, but it'll be the next few days while we're here in Phoenix. So I'm going to go ahead and hop off here, go paint my rock and I will chat with you guys in a little bit. Tipper, what are you doing? I thought we were taking a break. Yeah. Oh, oh. She doesn't like taking a break. Me either.
Good morning and happy Sunday. So we are in Phoenix at the State Farm Stadium. So the other night when we were coming over here to pick up Chubb's bike on Friday night, we passed the State Farm Stadium and we kept seeing signs on billboards that said free RV show. And we were like, where's this free RV show? And Chubb's has this fascination with going to all of the stadiums, which I mean, I, I find it interesting too. However, we were like passing the State Farm Stadium and then we realized the free RV show is here. So we were like, oh my gosh, what a perfect time to be able to come and you know see the State Farm Stadium and then check out some RVs because you know we love looking at RVs and especially like as we travel in this it kind of gives you an idea of what you want next and what your lifestyle will be like next now I don't know if you know we're gonna we're definitely I don't think gonna be uh, long-term traveling RVers however when we you know move into a house and all of that we definitely would like to have a smaller rv that we can go take our kids camping and do all sorts of fun stuff we're just going to kind of come in here and check this out this gives us something to do today also today we have to pick up a new vlog equipment so we're going to get a gopro actually which i am super excited about i don't want to walk that's good for you don't get your feet moving. Listen, you're gonna, you're, they're gonna be getting up anyways because we're gonna go in and out of our RVs. You wanna go look at some cool RVs? I know I do. I do. Hopefully, the Geo Pro. It's here. funny because like we didn't wood. even do this before we bought the, our RV. We'll go to a show. Yeah. We'll get her. We'll pick her up when she's. Yeah, there. but we went to three dealerships, so I mean that's still pretty good. We did, but I still feel like we only scratched the first surface. We didn't really see, you know, all that we could. But I feel like that we had in our mind what we wanted, and that's what we got. It's really worked for us. I've loved our RV. But for camping on the weekends and summers, our RV is way too big. The TV flips. That is cool. So I think that this is the first time we've looked at any RVs since we bought the Jayco. Wow. And coming into these, I realized, wow, I could live in a lot smaller space than I have right now. Like, and oh, this is really cool. Some of the innovative things like safe space saving stuff. Cause like in our minds, looking at these RVs, we're more looking for when we have a home, we're going to camp. So that's how we're viewing it. So, I feel like this is so big to camp in. Like, oh, I'm just going to camp in this. But at this, like, I could full time in this. It's kind of real. Yeah. But it gives you storage. Before, if you'd asked me, there's no way I could full time in something like this. But now that I full time in what I have now, I'm like, man, I could go this small. Come on, Bubba. I, 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 need, to, I need to show you something. We need to get Comey, so we need to figure that out. I'm so excited. Last night, we were watching some YouTube videos of RVers, and they were talking about mounting their GoPro on their RV to get good shots. And I was like, man, we've been talking about this for a while. We'll let you when we get back. And so, we, I got on Facebook Marketplace. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. I got on Facebook Marketplace to see what they had, and lo and behold, I not only found the GoPro 5, which I wanted, I found a gimbal, all for less than the price of the gimbal I bought on Amazon. So now I bought this gimbal on Amazon, I'm gonna have to get and return it, but I just saved us a bunch of money. So super, super excited about this. Super excited about this. This still does 4K and all that. Like, there's people who just film their videos on GoPros, so I feel like I'm becoming an official vlogger. Like, I have official, like, I actually have equipment. I have two cameras now, plus my phone. I feel like my phone is part of equipment, too. All right, guys, this is a test. We're seeing what this is all about. I don't know if there's any mem memory card in here or how this even works. I don't know. We're gonna find out. We are 
are cleaning up the RV today. I'm currently putting away laundry and I was like, man, I'm so impressed with myself that this is all of Tipper's wardrobe right in here. And if you've seen pictures on my Facebook and stuff before, you know how overflowing the kids clothes were I mean it was very overwhelming for me and honestly it's so much nicer to have less I mean I know this is stuff to the brim but you know we have short sleeves and sweats which once summer comes these won't be as much and I don't know I just get excited that we've downsized so much and honestly whether we buy a house or whatever we do after this I know that I don't want a whole bunch of clothes for the kids. I just don't like it. I hate managing them. It ends up being overwhelming and you get fro I get frozen and I don't know what to do. And when I get overwhelmed, I just don't want to do anything. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. We are currently packing up all of our stuff to go ahead and head out of the west side of Phoenix, okay? We're gonna head north towards Sedona. We have had a wonderful time here. It's been very relaxing. The weather is wonderful. No rain, no snow. It's just been gorgeous, dry and warm it's been amazing so we were super busy over the weekend and yesterday we just took a day to relax we almost stayed one more day but we're kind of ready to move on the rocks out here aren't easy for armor to play on and it's just time to go we've had so much fun at this spot though it's been great and we're excited we're always excited to go to the next spot and see what's there you know there's amazing cactuses that we've got a view here it's just been great. It's been a great visit. We love it. I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching today. If you enjoyed this vlog, give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe down below if you want to keep up with our journey as we full-time RV. We are so excited for the next coming weeks and all that is in store for us. So thank you guys so much again for watching. I hope you guys have an amazing day. We'll chat soon. Bye. Last week you called me The way you're talking is driving me insane Hello